from Hollywood, it's the Don Likas Show. Ready to change the world? And now, and now, here he is, Don Likas. It's Likas 101, the ongoing on-air adult education course that teaches men how to get more tail for less money. Just as importantly, we teach women how men think at 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Michelle, I'm Lagos 101. Hello. Hello. Yes. Hi, Tom. This I, is Michelle. I know. <laughs> okay, I'm calling because I discovered you about two weeks ago, and I've loved and I've agreed on everything you said, except this one little comment you made earlier about girls that don't want birth control want to get pregnant. That don't use birth control, yes. Yes, I totally disagree. You know what? One of the things people might not know is that birth control gets you fat, and it makes you Wait, fat. Wait, stop right there. How does a diaphragm, I want you to explain the biology of this. How does a diaphragm make you fat? It's the hormones, the hormones when people use the pills and stuff. And well, I'm, I'm talking about the diaphragm. You said birth control. When, when women use birth control, they get fat. How does a diaphragm make you fat? Well, I can't tell you. I can't answer that because I haven't used it. But I know. Well, that's my point. No there are twelve different you know forms. There, no. You'll respond after I finish what I'm saying. There are twelve different forms of birth control for women. Not all of them make you fat. So a woman who does not use one of them is not using any one of them because she wants to get pregnant. No, sometimes it's an inconvenience, Tom, and some of and sometimes an inconvenience. Like how about how about having a baby? <laughs> how about having a baby? That's pretty inconvenient. <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah, it's also, but you know what? Not I also, it's even it's even more inconvenient. You know what? No, it makes it really makes you fat. I mean, I can you know the diaphragm that. makes you fat. No, I'm talking. What about, about the cervical? Does the cervical, control, does the cervical does the cervical cap make you fat? If you wanna, does I, the I cervical like cap the, make you fat? I feel like the uh, does the pills? cervical cap make you fat? The what? I'm sorry. Cervical cap. How does that make you fat? I'm waiting. How does that make you fat? It's just an inconvenience. And uh, no, no, you just said it makes you fat. You said birth control <laughs> makes you fat. You said birth control makes you fat. I want you to explain. I want you to explain how, how, how a cervical cap makes you fat. Okay, well, scratch that. Maybe not that. People don't like Oh, I want about an IUD. How does an IUD make you fat? Okay, look. An IUD? Yeah. It can, it can easily snap off and, like, go into somewhere else in your body and, like, kill you. Oh, please. Who no, has died? Who is, I want you to name one person who's died from an IUD. Name one. I read it online. Well, yeah, right. Uh -huh. yeah, you know what? I'm telling you. Fine. I love you and I how about, how about sponges? How does the sponge make you fat? How, how does spermicide make you fat? Oh, God. <laughs> Oh, please. I'm, I'm waiting. About the most, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I want to hear the answer. About, I'm talking about the most common. You form. just don't. You, if you get pregnant, it's okay with you. That's the attitude. That's it. No. Really? So if you got pregnant, you'd have an abortion? No. Ah, that's my point. You wouldn't mind it if you got pregnant. It would be okay with you. That's why you're the kind of woman to be avoided. No, no, no. Oh, yes, no. yes, yes. No, 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 no. Yes, yes, yes. No, no, no. That is why, man, if you meet a woman like this who says, oh, no, I'm allergic, it makes you no, fat, it, it, it makes, makes me cranky, no, and makes me this, it makes me that. There are 12 different forms of birth control available to women. And if they won't use any one of the 12, it's because they're trying to trick you. They want to get pregnant. They want to have your baby. And just like this caller, they will have your baby if they get pregnant. I'm sorry, yeah, and I, and I wouldn't want to get... Now with your filthy mouth uh, on a zero-tolerance policy. You're out! Unbelievable. Uh, any slang term for masturbation is not getting on the air, sweetheart. Uh, go to our uh, MySpace. It's MySpace.com slash Tom Likas. I have a blog there. I wrote a list of all the things you can't say on the air. And what she said, the second word of what she said it was a phrase, was off. And when she was getting frustrated because she had no ability to use logical thought because she can't understand normal thinking. 
Ah, uh, she starts uh, using vulgar terms that uh, she knows she's not supposed to use on the air. Bitch. So go look at uh, myspace.com slash T-O-M L-E-Y-K-I-S 1-800-5800-TOM That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Brett on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. What's up, Tommy? Not much, Brady. How you doing today, bud? Doing great. Good. First of all, that chick that was on here before, she's a complete moron. That's all I have to say. She, uh -huh. she has, she's stupid. But the reason I called was I wanted to tell you that I was in a relationship for two years, and the last year pretty why'd much... You do, why'd you do that? You're 23 Dude, years I, old. I agree completely. I listened to you for probably three years now, and I knew you were going to chew me up for this, but I deserve it. And uh, I just wanted to tell you I dumped that bitch yesterday. Finally! I pick up her cell phone, and I find a text message from some guy I don't know who. She says she met at the gym. She said that he came up to her and said, can I have your phone number? And she felt obligated to give her phone number to him. Isn't it amazing when women uh, meet you at a bar and they don't want to give you their number, they make up a yeah. number? Isn't that the, is, is this the most BS thing ever? Well, and pal, you, you had a red flag and you ignored it. I did. Girl, I'm going to tell you what it was. Girls don't go to the gym unless they're looking to meet guys. I would have to agree with that. That's why most chicks get fat while they're in relationships, because they don't go to the gym. If she's at the gym, it means she's looking to pick up other guys yep. or get picked up. And it, she just recently started going to the gym about two weeks ago. Yep, there we go. She tells me how all these guys come up to her, and she just ignores them. But, and she tells me this guy she gave the phone number to was butt ugly, didn't want to give the phone number, but she felt obligated because he had his cell phone out. Right. Right, yes. It's a, it's a complete joke. But She you know could have given I'm, him your cell phone number. That, <laughs> you know what? I'm glad I'm out of it. It was That was the perfect way to get out, and I learned a, a whole bunch of stuff from that. Uh, but you did it. think you knew more than the professor, didn't you? You know what? I didn't, but I was just, I was a pussy. Straight up. You but didn't you have know to what? be a I'm pussy. I'm going to listen to what you say now. I'm going to go by everything you say. I hear people calling in all the time telling how good it works, and you're the man. Well, Brent, that is uh, certainly true. It's Dave on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. How you doing, Tom? Doing okay, Dave. I uh, First of all, the, the caller two nights ago, what makes you fat is having a baby inside of your stomach for nine months. Yeah, that, that does. Makes That's right. <laughs> um, I just want to let you know, and all the listeners out there, if you want to just forget about the 12 forms of birth control, I'm actually driving home right now from having a vasectomy. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so do you have a lap full of ice cubes? What do you have over there? Not ready to have a lap full of peas as soon as they walk into my house right now, but I just uh, I just want to give you the good news and thank you for all your great advice and uh, you know take it. People need to take responsibility for themselves and you know go get it done. You don't have to worry about it anymore. And there was no doubt that that is true. Derek on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Derek. Father, but my dad turned me on to you, and uh, he's probably listening right now. <laughs> all right. Um, wanted to uh, tell you here that I've uh, been listening to you now for a couple months and uh, started listening to you after I had the girlfriend, unfortunately. But uh, now that I've been listening to you a couple months, I DTB'd her yesterday. <laughs> and already pulled up the old bullpen. I'm going to Vegas this weekend. Very nice. Now, what what made you think you could have a girlfriend? She seemed like she was a lot of fun to be around, and uh, so why could, why couldn't she be your friend with benefits or your booty call? Was you know what? I wasn't smart enough to know that before. How long now, have you been a student here? Uh, about three months now. Okay. And no I, girlfriends. I do have to say over over these three months, I I have learned a lot, and uh, actually, I started accumulating this bullpen uh, about two weeks before or two weeks ago before I DT beat her, and it was uh, just worked out perfect transition, actually. Well, I'm glad to hear that that worked out for you, Derek. I thank you for that. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. Armando on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Yes. Yeah, man, I have I have a question for you. Yeah. So there's this, there's this chick that I like, and she's a virgin, but... I've been listening to your show, but I, I've never heard you talk about virgins. How no do you know virgins. No virgins. 
At all? Virgins don't use birth control. Ever. 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 And then you can't get rid of them. They're like human lint. So, I mean, but what is, I mean, I mean, but I, I'm not going to say I like this girl a lot, a lot, but I mean, I, I have to admit, I do have some feelings for her. And I, why, I why would you have feelings get... for someone you can't have sex with? Well, well, I guess my question is, I mean, some pe obviously some people take people's virginity. I, I'm wondering how, how I can be able to do that. You don't want to. Why not? Because she won't use birth control. But then, but then afterwards, she could probably get on birth control. And but, but but what if she gets pregnant the first time you have sex with her? Well, isn't that unlikely? No. It's not. No. Why would that be unlikely? I don't know. I've just never heard of it before. What do you mean you've never heard of it? I've never heard of a virgin getting pregnant. Well. Son, it's just because you are uneducated. So you're just telling me to just move on? With just yes. Haven't you ever heard of a married couple with a woman as a virgin and they have their wedding night and then she has a baby uh, sometime after the honeymoon? You've never heard of such a thing? Check with your parents. What? Excuse me? Sorry. I said check with your parents. Oh. Well, they're not married, but... <laughs> oh, well. How just, old How old are your parents? Let me guess. 39 and 40. No, 48 and 40. <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> there we go. Are they still together? Yeah, they're still together, but... Yeah, they are. <laughs> yeah, so your mom got knocked up at 17. Probably wasn't using birth control. Was she a virgin? <laughs> Probably. Well, she got she got knocked up, and then uh, I, I had my stepsister actually. Then my dad came along and took her in, and I guess uh, then we came about. Wait a minute, my but, wait, your mom is forty. My mom's forty. Yeah. Wait a minute. Let me let me do some math here. So you were born when she was eighteen. Yeah. So she got knocked up at seventeen. She couldn't have your stepsister and you at the same time. Oh well, she's a little bit older, I guess I can say. But I'm not lying. I'm not lying. My sister is my stepsister. I mean, not my stepsister, my half-sister. She has another man. Then my dad came along and then had me. So your mom also got knocked up at 16 or 15? She got knocked up when she was 17. Yeah, she's probably a virgin. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Uh, I don't... Well, back to my question. So what should I do? I, should just... I already told you. You don't, you don't like my answer. I mean, I, I just can't... No I, sex with girls who don't use birth control, period. Well, all right, then I guess I'll just have to accept that, I guess. Well, if you're asking me for advice. I'm not going to give you the advice you want. I'm going to give you my advice. All right, thanks, Tom. I appreciate it. I'm gonna just going to accept it, man. I respect you and tell my... Friends Think about you. this, son. I'm 52 years old, and I've never, ever had a baby I didn't want to have. I know a little something about this. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you. Tom. 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 Like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. It's the Tom Likas Show. Hey, we're every Saturday from 2 until 6 p.m. This Saturday, tune in. What do you have to lose? For God's sake, we're here every Saturday, 2 to 6 p.m. on Monday through Friday from 3 to 8 p.m. as you head home. The Tom Likas Show on 97.1 FM Talk. On BlowMeUpTom.com if you can't get us on a radio. And, of course, your local station. Like us 101. I am your professor. 1-800-5800-TOM. Is our telephone number Jasmine on the Tom Likas show? Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. I just wanted to throw something out there. Um, it really bothers me when women are misinformed about things that they put in their bodies. I just want to throw out there that birth control itself does not make you fat. It makes you crave carbs. So anyone who tells you that birth control makes them fat, they're full of crap. It makes them. Cra it makes you crave bread, starches and things like that, and that's what makes you fat, not the actual pill itself. 
So Good anybody point. Who's saying, anybody who's saying that it makes you fat, they're just being... They're just choosing to be ignorant. And they, 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 all, they, they think all the birth control there is is a pill. And that's ridiculous. I mean, there are so many things that you can get done nowadays. There's so many things that you can insert yourself or a shot that you can take or sell a patch. It's ridiculous. Anybody who says that they don't take birth control because the way they alter their bodies are full of garbage. I agree with you. Thank you, Tom. I love you. You put more smiles on my day than any other man has ever done. Oh, thank you for the call. I appreciate it. one 800 800 tom That's our telephone number. It's Ramiro on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Ramiro. How's it going, man? It's going great. Hey, I got a big situation, man. Um, I've been with a girl for about 10 years. And, you know, recently I started, we don't have any more affection. We, we we don't get along. We live together. And the thing is, uh, the deal is that I, I just met a 42-year-old male. Why do, you, why do you, first of all, why do you live with anyone? Uh, you know what? Uh, uh, I, had a, I had a rough childhood, you know. Uh, my dad, well, he was a very abusive. Um, so you, and, why couldn't you get a roommate? May, because this, uh, she, she, she was the type of person that was willing to do anything for me, you know, and then that idea came up and we finally settled, you know, we settled in, a, in an apartment. That's what it was. But then now recently we, we, we just don't, you know, we just don't, we're not compatible anymore. And then I went to a club about six months ago and I met this guy. He's 42 years old. The thing is, uh, I've already explored the uh, the other side of my sexuality, which is being bisexual. And the um, thing is, you know, I really like the guy. He's a uh, he's very, you know, he's handsome. He has a good build, and you know, I, and that's how that's what we attracted. We we got attracted by by that because I, you know, I have a good. I'm I'm in form. I'm I'm, I'm in shape, and oh, you know, he kind of spoils me too. So what is your question? My question is, my question is... Uh, Policy, pal. You're out! You can't say the F word on the air. No matter how in love you are, no matter how much of a bisexual you are, uh, the F word just isn't going to go. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. This is Lucas on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. How you doing? Great. Uh, my question is, uh, I'm a... Uh... So in the early part of my life, uh, I made some financial mistakes, and uh, I focused on fixing that, and uh, now I'm, uh, I'm pretty successful at uh, what I do. But uh, the problem is that I haven't been able to really pursue any relationships or anything like that. Why, and, do, you need a, why do you need a relationship? Not, not in the sense of a girlfriend or a wife. A like is approved relationship, that is, just to hook up or uh, to, you know, just to get laid. Uh, so I've... Been making it a focus this year to try and do that, and I'm kind of, I'm I'm like a clean slate, man. I'm a uh, un very uncomplicated compared to the uh, rest of the people that call to your show, and I'm just wondering what would be a good first step, or where would I go just to get started on looking for you know other people to hook up with. Well, where do people meet? Bars, nightclubs. That's where people um, meet. Okay, and just yeah, I guess I could just look that up for that online. Uh, but yeah, I, I just I want to you know I want to be like Lycus, I guess you know I want to get the bullpen. Love to have that, but uh, uh, yeah, I, I guess that's just a pretty simple question. You need to be out right there, there drinking and hanging out. That's you need to be out there. All right, all right. Thanks, Tom. Can you blow me up subway style? Subway style, of course I can. Thanks, Tom. Five eight hundred Tom, like is one hundred one. I am your professor, Ryan. Hello. Hi, how you doing, Tom? Great. Well, uh, here's the situation. Uh, I run a really big nightclub uh, in Hollywood, and uh, I'm 25 years old. Uh, I've been dating this girl for about, I'd say, four or five months now, and um, 
she's at the point slowly in the last probably two or three weeks she's been telling me um you know she really likes me she likes spending time with me she likes being with me all this stuff and um you know she's gorgeous in every sense of the word i've uh, I, I mean i'm a i'm a bachelor i have my own place i've i've been with a lot of uh women and you know I, that's the most direct way i could say it um i run the club so um, this one is just, like, got my full attention. And she's at the point where she's told me, you know, I don't want to share you. I don't want to have to worry about anything like that. I just want you. And I'm, at the, I'm, I'm in this situation where I'm like, gosh, I, I really don't know what to do because, you know, she's got everything, especially the looks. What she does for a living makes sense why she has the looks. But, you know, I just want to know what you would say in this situation, being that I'm a little bit older and you like do that. not need a serious girlfriend. You've uh, you got what you want. Eventually, most of them get to this point where they start making demands, right. and that's when it's time to go. So just cut her loose, huh? Cut her loose. Oof. Okay. All right, Tom. Well, there's more, there's more where she came from. <laughs> yeah, let's hope so. Let's hope they all look like her. You know. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Tom. Thank you. Appreciate the call. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show. Now with shorter commercial breaks, more telephone calls. We move it faster. Even you can get in, you with your arthritic thinking. You just dial us here one 800 800 tom It's one 800 866 Like us 101 with your professor, Tyler, on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Tom, how's it going? Great. So just about a week ago, um, I found out that my girlfriend of two years um, has been uh, seeing my best friend of... Uh, of pretty much five years, actually. and I no, just that'll, that'll thought, teach you to have a girlfriend. That'll teach you. Yeah, pretty much. You know, and, like, I knew it the whole time. But, you know, I just, like, I just didn't think that my best friend would do that to me, you know. And, and so I ended up breaking up with her. And one wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. What about her? Why did you have a girlfriend? How long well, have you been a student just, here? It was just really convenient to have a girlfriend. You know, she bought me whatever I wanted. You know, I could, you know, we could do anything. Hey, but with, yes, and she did whatever she wanted. Yeah, so, and, so anyway, the reason that I ended up breaking up with her, actually, was because she was trying to get pregnant, and I was, you know, she said she didn't want to take the birth control because she got fat and it made her cranky and all that, so I ended up breaking up with her, and turns out they've been dating for the past five months, and she's actually pregnant of three Great. months right now. So your, your best friend got his uh, payback, got his just reward. Yeah, exactly. That's the great. Thing is, uh, the thing that uh, I was calling about advice is I actually can't, uh, I've been trying to get over this girl, you know, and uh, I can't get over her. Why like, can't you get over her? She's a lying bitch. I was, I was with her for two years, you know. So, so what? Like, that was just because of your own bad judgment. So do you have any advice, though? Just, like, I know, like, obviously I don't want to be with her, and obviously, like, you know, like, it's over and whatnot. So what do I do? Though? Bang I mean, as like, many other to... chicks as possible. I'm not kidding. But I feel like every time I go out to a bar, though, you know, like all the chicks can see I'm all bummed out because I'm I'm thinking about how... You know, Stop being such a little baby. You're bummed out by a chick who lied to you and you screwed scooter out behind your back. And then on top of that, she's having your best friend's baby. You miss yeah. that? You miss that? What's wrong with you? Honestly... You know, I've been thinking the exact same thing, actually. You know, I just... Then I get know, over like... it. Sack up, son. Become a man. Yeah, so just basically go out, just go out to the bars and just try to get a bullpen, I guess, right? Right. Well, start with one. Get laid. Get laid. Get laid any way you. Ha you know what? You know a fat chick. Do it with her. Well, I don't know if I want to like. I don't know if I could do that though. That's the sure thing. Sure, you can. Do it. I've done it. You do it. I don't know. You really think that if I go out and just do a fat shake, that it's just going to make everything all better, though? Yeah, you know, it just it, it. Here's what it does. Uh, you know, when basketball players coming back from a knee injury, they play a pickup yeah. game on a schoolyard with somebody who could never be in the NBA with them. Right. Until right. they get back into shape. Right. This is what you're doing. It's a rehab assignment. Just go out and keep that muscle flexing. Keep it going. Keep it going until you find what you're looking for. 
right, and then just make sure, you know, I stick by your rules. Definitely. Uh, Finally. Don't yeah, well, I don't know on. why you didn't. I gave you all the information you needed. I don't know. It, just, it, was, it was so convenient. You thought you knew control. more than I did. We got yeah, so convenient. I mean, she just bought me whatever I wanted, you know, and like. And she also know. did whatever she wanted. Yeah, I guess you're right. That is a red uh, flag. If a chick is buying you things, chances are. Remember, women are the cheapest creatures in the world. Yeah. If a woman is buying you things, chances are there's an ulterior motive. Exactly. Ever see women with a tennis bracelet? Uh, yeah. That's because their cheating boyfriend or cheating husband bought it for them. Right, exactly. Would you ever buy a tennis bracelet for a chick? Would I ever buy it? No, I probably wouldn't buy anything for a chick. Yeah, you know? unless she was your girlfriend or your wife and you were hoping she wouldn't uh, keep uh, uh, suspecting you of doing things. Right, exactly. Right? All right. Well, uh, so I guess I'll just have to go out and try to build a bubble pen and then, you know, that way, you know, I'll just... Just go out uh, and get, get laid. That's the pri That's the primary thing you need to do right now. The thing is, is I actually I went out and I got laid, and it's 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 not like I'm completely keep over going, you know? keep doing it, Just keep keep doing it, and keep doing it. doing it. Yes. All right. The first day you go to the gym, you're in pain. Right. That's how you know it's working. Right. You have to keep going back to the gym. Uh, well, I guess you know. I guess I did come out on top of this situation, though. You know, she he's screwed for the next eighteen years. You know, she'll probably end up keeping it. She's already. Three, four months pregnant. So By the way, is he still your best friend? Oh, of course not. No, I actually, I actually uh, saw him at the bar, and he was claiming that uh, that he didn't do it. He's like, no, I didn't do it, I didn't do it. And I, I said, well, give me your phone. So I took his phone, and I was going through it, and right then she sent him a text message like, hey, baby, like I love you, blah, blah, blah. So I took his phone, and I gave it back to him, and I socked him in the face, and he ran away. Look at you. <laughs> so... You know, I guess I did come out a little bit on top of the situation, so I just need to keep my head up and go up to the bars and just see, see what I can do from there, you know? That's right. You have to get up at 5 o'clock in the morning. You have to be in training. Right, exactly. Drink a couple of raw eggs, then get out there and uh, just grab a big, fat piece of meat and, and keep pounding away at it. <laughs> Until one exactly. day you'll be running up the steps and you'll be jumping up as like the champion. You'll be jumping up and down. Right. All right. All right, Tom. Well, I appreciate it. I listen to your show all the time. And, I, you know, like, I, I thought you would probably know some good advice for my situation, you know. So I appreciate it. Appreciate it. So can you take me out with a bong rip? Yes. Yes, Tyler, I can. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Veronica on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi Tom. How are you? I'm doing great. Hi. Um, I just have a quick question for you. Um, I am 23 years old, but I am also I'm also a single mother. Um, mm, Why did you do that? Well, I I actually ended up getting married when I was 20 years old. Why did you Why did you do that? Well, I was really in love with the guy, and... Boy, that was stupid, huh? He, well, yeah, now that I look back at it, yes, it was pretty stupid. <laughs> so, um, I actually am wondering if um, I should probably go out once in a while and party. On one side, I have my mother and my father and my friends telling me that I should go out, but I also have my sister and her her husband telling me that I shouldn't, that I should just stay home and um, just uh, stay home and raise my, my son and wait until he gets older. And I was just wondering what you thought about that. Well, I mean, if you uh, want to go out and have a social life, you should. By the same token, you should not neglect your kid. No going out right. leaving the baby in the car. No going out <laughs> leaving the baby uh, asleep somewhere. Oh, no. Oh, no. I would not do that to him at all. <laughs> but don't be getting knocked up again either. Yeah, no, n no, I'm not planning on doing that, and I no, will no, no, no. definitely. Be I'm not planning on doing so. that. It leaves you wiggle room. Don't do it. <laughs> oh, okay, all right. Thank you very much. Um, can you blow me up, Tom? Yes, of course. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom, it's Mike of the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi. Hi. Tom? 
No, Bob. Yeah. Bob is not here. Sorry, Bob. Uh, this is my question for you. If uh, if you use a positive that sex with a woman every time, right? What? You, every time you have sex with a woman. Why is your connection so lousy? I don't know. Tell you what, we're going to get back to you when you've got a better connection. Maybe Dean can work something out with you there. Uh, it's one eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom Holly on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, Tom. How are you? Great. Okay, so I've been listening to you for about a couple months now, and I absolutely love you. Um, I have a question though. Um, I go out on all these dates, and it barely ever gets past the first date. If I'm lucky, I'll get a second date, and I don't know what the problem is. Well, uh, let's let's review what happens on these dates. Well, we go out, we hang out. Like the last guy that I went out with, um, I thought we hit it off really well. I mean, that was my understanding. And never got a phone call. I don't know what I did wrong. And I can't even, like, understand. Well, did, so, you, did it appear that you had an interest in sex at some point in the near future? He, he did. I mean, he wanted me to get in the backseat of his car, the, you know, that night. All right, and, and you like, said no. And then did you appear at that point that you weren't just saying no for the evening, that you might actually be interested sometime in the near future? Kind of. He was like, I'm not looking for a girlfriend, and I can tell you want a boyfriend. And I was like, you know what? That's not necessarily the case. Um... I don't really want a boyfriend right now, and that's fine that you don't want a girlfriend. And we hit it off, you know, we kissed, whatever, and never heard from him again. Well, he, he wanted to have sex on the first date, and that's why. Okay, so that's one date. What about the other? How I do I what happened on the other date? I don't know. I mean, we go out, we go to have dinner, I go on, you know, out to movies. We, I, I just don't understand if it's me or if it's all these guys. Well, do, you wanna, do you understand? Me. I don't know if you but look. This is the era of the hookup. Huh? This is the era of the hookup. Right. And so mo most guys, guys were out to... there, most guys were out there have, have met uh, other women who essentially think of yourself as a, as a consumer product, like your Coca-Cola. And out there competing with you, there's Pepsi, there's 7-Up, there's Dr. Pepper, right? There's iced tea. Right. There's plenty of other products on the shelf, Okay. And and the other products, uh, they're all putting out. They're hooking up. And that you are still all, doing the old-fashioned dating model. Out? I'm sorry? I said, so that means all of us girls need to put out as well? Of course. There's some girls, there's some girls who well, it, would again, not just do it. That's what the competition... Let, look, let's take KFC and El Pollo Loco, okay? Now, there's a lot of people who say, well, I like El Pollo Loco better, okay, than KFC. Okay. But if KFC starts saying, guess what? Come to our drive through it's free buckets of chicken. Do you think people would keep going to El Pollo Loco? No. Do you think they'd say, well, I'd rather pay $11 for a bucket of wings and thighs? Well, I guess it's the girls out there that are just ruining it for me, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, now, now you get the idea. Every <laughs> time you say no, you have to remember, these guys, they, they just go right through their cell phone, and they just roll the, the trackball to the next name, and they, they they call, and they just keep dialing until one of them says yes, and one of them always does. Oh, these girls. Oh, these girls. All right, Tom, can you take me out with a bond rip? <laughs> now, but, but darling, how, how many dates do you usually wait to uh, have sex? To be honest with you, a few. I mean, until I feel pretty comfortable with yeah. the guy. Well, you know what? You're 21 years old. You are the odd woman out because most women your age put out a lot faster than that. I know. And, and so when guys don't call tough. you, it's because there's other women taking their calls who give them what they want. It's just not fair. <laughs> well, at 21, guys are not looking to have a girlfriend. They're looking to hook up. And by the way, lots of girls are looking to hook up, and these guys are trying to find the ones who are looking to hook up. So where do I find these guys that don't just want to hook up? Church basements. Church basements. Yes, yes. Church socials. Mormon missions. Oh, gosh. And if you really want to meet men who don't want to meet women, yeah, maybe you go to the Catholic Church, meet a Catholic priest. I just want a good guy. That's all I want. I yeah, just but, want but, a good guy. But guys, remember the old song we wrote, Guys Just Want to Get Laid. It's, it was a song I think we, we, we had produced here. That's funny. That's that's what it's all about, dear. And, you know, if you just want to go and have a frappuccino with a male, you need to have gay friends. That's what gay friends are for. 
All right, Tom. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. Dean, Dean J. D'Amelio, by the way, lives in West Hollywood. He's got plenty of neighbors who have <laughs> nothing better to do than go out with you, hang out, talk about what they did on the hills this week, talk about the Golden Globes. I don't want to talk about the Golden Globes. Have a cup of coffee. that mushy stuff. Yeah, what do you want to do? I just want to find a good guy who will treat me right. Treat you right? But what do you want to do with it? First, I'm willing to just hang out and play. Play? I'm, I'm game. What kind I'm of game? game? Bowling? What, what, what? Play what? No, 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 no. I mean, like, I, I can be like the guys, too. I can, you know, I don't want a relationship but they, right they, away. We've got the guys. I've got guys. I'm sorry? I'm, I, I'm a guy. I've got guy friends. Why do I need a girl who's like the guys? I got guys. Because you need to spice up your life. I got people. No, I don't need to spice up my life. I got friends. So what do you suggest for me? What do you suggest? I'm telling you, you have to... Look, if you want to meet guys like that, I know you think I'm kidding. But the guys you want are guys who tend to the more religious, more conservative... You know, maybe you go to uh, join like some Republican group or some group of uh, guys who believe in, uh, you know, uh, the, the, the being born again virgins. Uh, no, the, but the thing is, I like bad guys too. I like the bad boys. Bad image. guys, you know, how bad, bad guys got their image, reputations. They rip girls' panties off and then they uh, go to town. I like the guys with the bad boy image, but I also want a guy that's good. Well, and you, you, good you, that, that, fine. So you have to go to like Christian TV where they got those videos of guys in like leather motorcycle jackets who sing about Jesus. Oh, that's what you need. Uh, bad boys are bad boys for a reason. Because they do bad things. That's right. <laughs> if they do it right. If they do it right. <laughs> I'm a bad boy, dear. Well, thank you so much, Tom. See, if you have my handprint on your ass, this would be a moot point. A what point? A moot point. Oh. Wow. Well. One good crack. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> we'll see if you'll be laughing after I crack your ass. Tom Likes. 1-800-5800-TOM. Likes. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likes Show. It's the Tom Likas Show from Hollywood. Likas 101. I am your professor. Don't forget our Saturday show. Every Saturday, 2 until 6. Listen this Saturday, 2 until 6 on 97.1 FM Talk. And if you can't hear us on the radio, be sure to log on to blowmeuptom.com. Click on the Listen Live button, and you'll hear our Saturday show. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Like us 101. This is Rich on the Tom Like Us Show. Tom, what's going on? Not much. Doing a radio show. <laughs> I feel you. I haven't been listening that long, but you've been making the drive a lot easier, that's for sure. Love it. <laughs> um, I'm one of those nice guys, man. I need some help. I'm one of those guys who buys flowers and opens doors and pays for meals. What What is the point where there's got to be a point where you're mean, where you're the jerk, but you can't be too much of it? Well, how do you know? Well, let me ask you this. How's that working for you? Oh, I'm calling, right? That's my point. When you spend money, you get nothing. Right. So you have to stop doing everything your instincts tell you to do. Whatever your instincts tell you to do, do a 180. Do the exact opposite. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. But, we, I mean, there's a point as far as conversational goes, as far as, you know. Keep the conversation short. Let her do all the talking, if possible. Yeah. I mean, the, the, <laughs> you're holding open doors. You're you're listening to her. You're being a nice guy. Nice guys don't get laid. <laughs> you got it. All right. So, so, and then as far as being the jerk part, do I, I mean, do I just, like, pretend like I don't care what she's saying and just... just you just don't even put anything into the conversation. Just stay out of it. All right. All right. Let her go on and on and on. <laughs> Everything you say can and will be used against you. Uh, that's very true. All right. Thanks, Tom. I appreciate it. I'm a big fan, man. I really appreciate what you're doing out there. 
Thank you, Rich. Appreciate the call. Like us 101. I am your professor. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's Sergio on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing? Doing okay? Yeah, I just I just got a question for you, man. Um, I found out my wife has been cheating on me. I've been married with her for like seven years. Seven years. How old is she? Uh, she's 24. So you married her at 17? Yeah. That's because you knocked her up? <laughs> yeah, I was like, kind of forced to, you that know. That was stupid. Well, you're not forced to. What, was it with a gun? No, no, it's uh, her, uh, my parents kind of made us because they're, you know, like, they're Catholic and stuff. So I was kind of forced to, to marry her. Well, you didn't have to do it. No, I know, but I kind of I kind of liked the girl at the time. Too, yeah, but so. they understand, then you get what you're getting now. Yeah. Yeah, um, but I have a question, though. Um, if, if she's get caught cheating, do I still have to pay that alimony? Yes. I do. <laughs> That's how it works. Even though, even though it's been through court that she's been cheating and stuff. Doesn't like that. matter. Nope, those days ended years ago. Wow. Yeah. That's why I tell guys not to get married. Because yeah, what yeah, happens yeah. is she can go yeah. out, screw uh, you know the entire football team, and she can screw your best friend, and you catch her, and then she can say, "I'm taking you for everything you've got," and then do it. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. I know, that kind of that sucks, man. <laughs> you know, I, I don't know what you were thinking when you got married. I guess uh, I was stupid, man. I, I should have you know, been listening to your show like a long time ago. That's right. And, and I, you know, I, I probably started listening to it um, I'm, I'm, well, because I moved to San Diego because I'm in the military. Mm -hmm. And so every time we drive back to Fresno, um, I'm always listening to your, to your station. Well. Yeah, I know. You know, I should have. <laughs> if I would have known about you a long time ago, you know, I would have took your advice. That's a shame that you didn't, because I've been around a long time, Sergio. Uh, all right, Tom. Well, I'm a big fan, though. You know, keep it up. All right. And so, uh, so should you. Keep listening. Our email address is my name. It's Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. Don't forget to tune in this Saturday. Here's from 2 until 6 p.m. on 97.1 FM Talk and at BlowMeUpTom.com. The Tom Likas Show.